Welcome to week nine of Project Cost Management. This is the second video for week nine. In the first video, you learned how to take the information seen on this slide, uh, create a network diagram in MS Project, and assign the resources, the people, um, to the specific tasks, and then resource level uh, that schedule so that you didn't have uh, any one person uh, doing more work than they had time to do. So what you're going to do now is we're going to take that same um, that file, that MS project file we created in the first video and here it is and we are going to assign labor rates and put other costs such as material, tools, software, whatever is required for the project and we're going to assign it to these tasks and then we're going to create um, a time phase budget in Microsoft Project. We looked before at creating one in Excel. This is how we can use Microsoft Project to create a time phased budget. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, enter a parent activity, so uh, the entire project uh, parent activity, so that we will have summary information on this project. So we're going to right click, insert task, and I'm going to call this task, um, I'll call it marketing project. So it is a parent activity, so it's the overall project. So just like in your deck project, you'll have deck project as 1.0 and that's your parent activity. So I want everything indented under it. And I like to um, make sure that uh, we click the outline number so it gives us some Wibis codes and so that we can see that the marketing project is the overall parent summary activity and all of these are um, fall under it. So that's the first thing you're going to want to do. Now we need to assign rates. So if you um, go to the task tab and we're going to want to select the resource sheet and we're going to want to assign rates um, to the different people. So on the slide, if you go back to the slide, you can see we had Tom at $35 an hour, Jeff at $40 an hour, and so on. So we want to put that in our, our Microsoft project. So going back to the Microsoft project, you can see there's a column um, for standard rates. And for your deck project, you're going to want to put in your rates that you created earlier in this course um, for the supervisor and two laborers. You're going to want to put them here. So uh, Tom is $35 an hour. Jeff is $40 an hour, Sue is $45 an hour, and Carol is $50 an hour. So there you have it. And Tom, Jeff, Sue, and Carol are already assigned to the specific tasks in the project. So that's, that's there we go for our labor that's looked after. Now the other thing, um, if you look at the Microsoft Power the PowerPoint slide, um, we have some other costs. We don't just have labor costs. We have a software system, a room rental, and advertising. In your deck project, you'll have a lot of uh, materials such as lumber and screws and that sort of thing. So you need to add that to your um, resource sheet. So for your deck project, you're going to refer to your estimate and quotation sheets to see what you need to add here. So I have the software system and it's you know one time cost of $1500 i have a room rental and it is $500 and the advertising is $1000 so what we need to do now is these costs aren't associated with any activity. So we need to assign them to an activity. So we're going to want to go back to the Gantt chart and assign bids. So if you go to the resource tab, we can see Tom, we have there working on this activity for five days and it's 100%, which means he's working on it uh, eight hours a day for those full five days. And also associated with the assign bids is the software system. So this is where we select software system and it will assign this cost to that activity. So we have select winning bid. So 
So again, double click on it, go to resources. So it shows Sue working on this for one day. I had 100%, so that's eight hours. And on this activity, we have the uh, rent room. And develop PR campaign. We have Carol working on it for four days. And we also have the cost of advertising associated with this activity. So now we have all the costs, labor, material, um, other costs associated with this project entered into the project. So now we can create our time phase budget. So what we're going to want to do is go to the View tab and we're going to want to um, go to the Tables and we're going to want it in cost is one thing we can do and the other thing we're going to want to do is um, go to the task usage view so click over here and I'm going to scroll over to where my you can see my activities so there we go here and you can see this is an hour so we want to create a time phase budget so we want to create change this to a cost so right click on here and click cost so now we see hours and cost, and you can right click on here, and I want to uncheck work because I just want to see costs. So now you can see, uh, really, this is our time phase budget all over here. Okay. Now I want to, this, uh, one thing I want to do is I want to collapse um, each task. I don't want to see the individual resources, so you'll want to do that. And the other thing is uh, this table. Um, I want it in cost. Okay, so make sure your table's a cost table and that we're in the task usage view and it's um, in cost only. So again, this is our time phase budget and so it's showing we wanted this parent activity and so we could see the project as a whole what we're spending each day and then underneath it shows what um, each day cost for each individual task and then over here we have our total cost so the marketing project as a total is $9,560 assigned bids cost us $2,900 um, and that $2,900 as we can see is spread between uh, this Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday so there you have it, there's your time phase budget um, for this exercise, you'll need to do this for your deck project. You can, after you're done this, if you would like, um, copy and paste it into Excel and have that information in Excel and you can create graphs and that sort of stuff with it. Please keep in mind, this does not have your contingency reserves, your uh, management reserves, or profit. So that is missing from this information. So hopefully this helps you. If you need, have any questions in creating your time phase budget in Microsoft Project for this week's assignment for your deck project, please contact me either email, phone, or stop by my office. Thank you.